722, welcome back to Fox 43 Morning News. Election day, less than one month away now. And while in Pennsylvania, the governor is not on the ballot, his top officers are, and the race for, for Auditor General is already one of the most historic in the Commonwealth's history. We're hearing from the candidates in their own words in today's Democracy 2020 preview. Pennsylvania will choose someone new to be its fiscal watchdog. With Eugene DePasquale at the end of his term and running for Congress, Democrat Dr. Nina Ahmad and Republican Tim DeFore will seek to become the Commonwealth's new Auditor General. Ahmad is a Bangladeshian immigrant, a scientist, and previously worked under Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney and President Barack Obama. DeFore has worked as a special investigator for both the Pennsylvania Inspector and Attorney General. The last five years, he's been Dauphin County's top auditor as its controller. Whoever wins will become the first person of color in Pennsylvania history to be elected to statewide office. And I asked each about that and much more. Considering what's going on in our country now, considering um, you know the, the state of the African-American men and African-Americans in general, and also the, the history of, um, of our struggles and histories of my parents' struggles, of my struggles, I, I think that it's, it plays a a great significance. I also uh, am a scientist. We've never had a scientist in statewide executive office. And in this day and age when, um, you know, we have uh, science being called fake news, it is critical that uh, we have someone who can uh, give the facts, follow the money, uh, and be uh, very objective about things. I'm deeply interested in not only accountability and transparency, but also how equitably we are using our dollars. And that's been my track record, my history, um, you know, especially you know, holding the powerful accountable. My family comes from a, comes from blue collar workers, blue collar dues paying union members, coal miners. And for years, even growing up, I would hear them talk about how the government was spending their money. Never could understand as a child, but it's something that, that always stuck with me. So it has a lot to do with regards to my family, how I was raised, and making sure that our taxpaying dollars are being spent the way in which they're supposed to be spent. COVID-19, where, where are the funds being spent? First thing I would have to do is, one, to determine where those funds were to go, and to determine if they went to where they're supposed to go, and if, and if they were, were spent, spent appropriately. I actually um, have proposed we do a pandemic preparedness audit, which will take all the best practices that we have seen and and see what to avoid and build a, a preparedness uh, situation where we can respond to this kind of a crisis. So my biomedical hat gets on. We're going to have an educational piece, a healthcare piece, and an economic piece built into that uh, audit uh, of our preparedness. We've posted both candidates' full interviews on our website, fox43.com, as well as our Fox 43 YouTube channel. Uh, in both cases, uh, we have platforms for all of them. Everything that you didn't see in the piece, you can check out online right now. The Fox 43 Morning News will be right back.